guys it's me Carrie what's up I didn't expect to be back today but I just got a late delivery from FedEx that I'm actually really excited about um I received some goodies from taste beauty to um, do first impressions and reviews of for you guys and I'm super super stoked about that so thank you so much to the awesome people taste beauty for sending me this package as you know in the past Taste Beauty has been very hit or miss with me. Um, I've really enjoyed some of their products. I've really not enjoyed other products of theirs. So um, I'm really, really, really hoping that the quality is becoming more consistent um, in terms of their products. So I have no idea what's going to be in this box. We're going to find out together, but let's take a look and see. Oh, and of course, I thought I got all the tape off, but I didn't. Let me get some more tape off here with my handy dandy car keys, because that's what car keys are for, right? We're just gonna saw our way through that bad boy and over here too. And let's hope I don't break my car key, because that would really be just the, the perfect icing on this day. <laughs> but this hopefully will make my day a lot better. Okay, let's see what we've got here. This is a big box. It feels very light though. Let's see. Okay, there's a bag inside the box. So the box is empty now, but let's see what we have in this bag. I like the idea of a bag because then I can just reach in and pull out goodies one by one. And that is tape too. <laughs> They're really good about making sure things stay secure, which is nice. It's just difficult when you don't have scissors on you, but okay, let's see. All right, so I'm just going to reach in and grab stuff. Okay, first up we have, <gasps> I am so excited about this, you guys. Oh my gosh, check this out. I think I might have seen this on somebody's Instagram. Maybe it was Lisa and Beauty. I am not positive. But how adorable is this two-pack, you guys? It is peanut butter and jam. And it says, that's my jam on it. Oh, my gosh. And look at the back. It says, love is love. And they're holding hands. Okay, this is freaking amazing. I love that. Oh, it's on the front, too. Love is love. I don't like that it says bae, but that's just because I'm an old person, and I don't like that word. But <laughs> it's really, really cute packaging, you guys. I am going to open it as carefully as I can because I want to try to... Oh, good. The glue is not, like, super, super tight on this. So I might actually be able to salvage this packaging somewhat and maybe be able to put it in my junk journal because I really think it is so cute. I'm going to see what I can do with it. Ah, not too bad. I'll figure out something, or I'll just use the back. I'll use the back. I'll cut that part out. All right, guys, but we get two little jars in here. There is a peanut butter and a, I'm not sure what flavor jam does it say. I think it's very tiny. God, I'm old. I can't read it. I think it says raspberry jam. Yes. Oh, it does say in the packaging, peanut butter and raspberry jam. Okay, awesome. As usual fabulous packaging. The one area where I think taste is pretty darn consistent with the exception of the um the cold stone creamer ice cream flavors with the stinky stickers on top. You might have remember you might recall that video that I reviewed those. They had puffy stickers on top and the stickers smelled horrible. And I thought that the lip balm smelled horrible, but once I took the stickers off the lip and wiped off the top layer of lip balm, the lip balm smelled really good. So it was the stickers. But um, other than that, the packaging's always been on point with taste. So look how cute these little jars are. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so excited for this. Okay, does it just unscrew? Yes, it does. It just unscrews. And there's the product on top. And it just twists on the bottom. And I love that it doesn't bust through the wrapping. Thank you, Taste, for that. I love that um, you can just twist these freely and the wrapping doesn't get messed up. Tiny bit of color. I'm thinking it looks like a little bit, but not a lot. So I don't think it will show up on the lips, which again is good because that's another problem I've had with taste in the past is that some of their products are so pigmented and they're really like off-putting colors, like especially with the dark brown candy ones. I'm not a fan of that color on my lips. It looks almost black. Well, let me try this out. Let me get a sniff first on my swatch. Mmm, it's really nice. Yummy peanut butter scent, awesome. Oh, and it's got flavor too, okay. And I don't see any color on my lips. I know this is weird lighting, but I don't see any like weird funky color on my lips either. So I'm super, super, super happy about that. Actually, you don't have to unscrew these lids. They just pop off. Yay, I'm so, excuse me, I'm so stoked. I don't have um, paper towel out here with me. So I'm just gonna tear off a little piece of this bag and use this to kind of like blot and, you know, remove my color. Not the most sanitary, but you know, you do what you gotta do. 
All right, and the next step we have this little raspberry jam. It's so stinking adorable. And that is the color. See, now if this is pigmented, I won't mind because I think that'll actually be a pretty nice color on. It is. It's very pigmented. Can you see that? Mmm, oh my gosh, it smells so good, you guys. Oh, damn. Okay, that smells amazing. And it does have some color in the lips. But it's a nice color, I think. It's flattering and probably would be flattering to anyone. Mmm. Yep, and it's got taste, too. Taste beauty, duh, I know I'm a dork. But I really, 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 really like these, you guys. I am so excited. If this is the shape of things to come for taste, yay, definite huge thumbs up on both of these. I'm going to give them, I'm gonna give them an eight, only because the flavor is not as strong as I would like, and I know that's being nitpicky. They do have spot on scent and flavor to what they promise. But I'm going to give them, uh, yeah, I reserve the nines for like the bestie, best, best of the best. I very rarely even give out nines. But the eight is a solid score for me. So I'm really, really, really stoked about that. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. This is a great start. And as you guys know, I tell no lies on this channel. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. That's true of whether I get a product for free to review or whether I purchase it with my own money or it's a gift or whatever. So know that everything is the absolute gospel truth. Okay, this one is Blue Punch Sweet Tarts that I think I might have already. So I'm not going to open this just yet because if I do already have it, this will probably go into a future giveaway pile. So I'm not going to do this one right now because I'm almost certain I have that one already. That's the only reason why. All right, let's see what else is in here. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. This is super, super cool. I had actually... Um, when I wrote to Taste Beauty and I was um, inquiring about new products that I was um, hearing some buzz about but not able to locate, one of them was um, these ones that look a lot like something that rhymes with Sucker Sop. I'm not going to say the exact brand because that's um, something sold in Claire's and this is not that, but they sure look an awful lot like Sucker Sops to me and they're a whole lot cheaper because from what I've heard, people are finding these for $1 each and um, yes, so-called Sucker Sops, a lot more than a dollar. But this one I have never even seen, I don't think, before. It is a frozen yogurt one. It says, out of this world, birthday cake ice cream. Shut up. <gasps> this is so stinking adorable. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I had heard about some, oh no. Oh no, he came off. Oh gosh. Oh crap. Okay, I see adhesive on here though, so hopefully I can stick that guy right back on there. Yes, I can. And I actually have double stick tape in my house. Okay, it feels pretty secure now, so that was fluky and weird. But I, I have some double stick tape in my house. I will reinforce that. But this is super, super cute. The only thing it doesn't have is the little key, the little ball keychain, but I can, um, you can buy that at any craft store pretty much in like a long length and then just cut it down to what size you need and then just get the little um little fasteners you know to clasp it but i think this is so cute i'm going to be very careful because i don't want to lose that adorable design but this is and this is double sided you guys holy cannoli sucker slops not double sided it is a really pretty pink and it has glitter like iridescent glitter in it that i hope you can see oh i know it's getting darker it's not like getting darker but i'm like under an awning so it's not the best light but it's really comfy to shoot out here let me try that one on my finger here it's really shiny and it's got a little bit of glitter which i don't know if you can tell but it does Mm, let me see. See, so this one, I'm not so impressed with the scent. It doesn't taste like birthday cake ice cream to me. Birthday cake or ice cream. It's, or smell, rather. I haven't tasted it yet. It just smells generic sweet. Let me try some on my lips and say. I don't remember if I wiped off the raspberry some. I don't think I did, actually. Let me do that over again. I did wipe off the peanut butter, but I don't think I wiped off the raspberry. Let me redo that so we can be accurate. Let's see. I'm going to make sure I get enough that you can really tell if it's got flavor or not. 
Hmm. Okay, tastes better than it smells, which is interesting. I still don't know that I would pinpoint it to either birthday cake or ice cream, but it's sweet and yummy. And it looks it looks like a Froyo to me, but yeah, I guess it could just be a soft serve ice cream. And I'm just concerned that that's gonna peel back off, but again, I'm just gonna reinforce it when I get in the house with double stick tape, but it's super, super cute. And for a dollar, a lot better deal than sucker sops, if you know what I'm talking about. I just don't like to promote a product that I'm not actually, you know, comparing to in the video, so that's why I'm using that little nickname. All right, let's say. But I do like it, though. It actually, it's amazing. It tastes better than it smells, which is weird. Okay. There we go. Next up, here's another one. I'm so excited. This one is blueberry flavored, and this one is, it says Animal Pack Down the Rabbit Hole. How stinking adorable is this? I am in love. And how appropriate that it is um, the Tuesday before Easter that this arrived. I'm so stoked. And this one does have a key ring in it. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Huh, interesting, okay. And this one, again, the bunny is loose. Weird. It's like wiggly wobbly. It's not coming off completely, but it's loose. So they're not the most secure. So I do have to take off points for that, that these little rubber things should definitely be adhering much better. It's like the tiniest bit of a glue dot or something that's holding that on. See how it almost all the way comes off? So that's kind of disappointing. But again, I can reinforce that. So, um... And if I had paid retail of a dollar for this, I, I still wouldn't be complaining because for a dollar, it's not that big of a deal to fix it. Okay, I like that this one's like a pinky pop inside instead of just white. And this one is like a yellowish peachy color with the same type of glitter in it as the other one. And uh, this one, again, what did I say? Raspberry, right? Blueberry, sorry, blueberry flavored. Wow, that's funny that it's peach and it's blueberry flavored. And I don't know why I'm going in this part of the lid first. I just am choosing to do that because I'm weird. Okay, yeah, again, not as glossy as the other one, but um, it does have some shimmer to it. Mmm, oh, that smells better than the other one, though. Yeah, I like that. That definitely has a nicer scent. Let me try it on and see if you can taste it. I would definitely say, in all ways, these are pretty comparable to Sucker Softs, with the exception of the fact that these have balm in both ends, and the price point is much, much lower. Mmm. Oh, that tastes good, too. Okay. Yeah, this one's really good. Um, I didn't give numbers to the, uh, to, uh, give a number to the last one. This one, um, because the packaging is really flimsy, and yeah, it came off completely again, um, even though the flavor and the scent, and the scent are pretty good, I'm going to give these, um, this one's a little more sturdy and I like the flavor a little better. I'm going to give this one a six and this one a seven. If the packaging was better, I would definitely give them higher ratings. Oh, I do also like that this one has the ball chain and the other one does not, which I'm not sure why, but, um, but yeah, I like the bunny a little bit better than the, um, than the Froyo ice cream, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let me get this off here. Okay, this is fun. Let's see what's next. Alrighty, we've got super fun. Ooh, okay, I was super stoked for these two. I love num noms. I only have two, which is kind of crazy, of like the legit actual num noms with the lip gloss in them and the little round guys on top. But when I saw that they were coming out with these, I got so excited because again, it looks like the you know what and um, way, way cheaper. So I'm super stoked, and I hope you guys will be able to find these at your stores, because like I said, I have had no luck finding them at mine yet, which is part of the reason I'm sure why Taste was kind enough to let me have these to review for you. This one is mango flavored, and look at how cute that is. I can't take the cuteness. It's so adorable. And um, obviously, it says, we're scented, we're... I wonder if the, the outer rubber part is scented, because I know in actual Num Nums, um, I don't know if they all are. The two I think I have are from Series 2, and the little rubber cap things are scented as well as the actual product inside. Let me see if this has a scent. Mm -mm. No, it doesn't. I was just curious. It doesn't, you know, guarantee that or anything, but I was just curious. This one, again, does not have the keychain little um, thing in it, but you could easily add it. And I love this. This one feels much more secure. Like, this guy's not coming off. I'm very, very happy about that. So that one is a vast improvement already over the other two. 
And this one, as you might expect for mango, is an orangey, mango-y kind of color, I guess. And again, I'm going in the top. I don't know why I go in the top part. And it does have the glitter as well. And this one... Ooh, this one has a little bit of color payoff, which is not the most flattering... Let me see if you can get that. Not the most flattering color in the world, probably for most people. I know it wouldn't be for me. I'm hoping it doesn't show up too much, let's say. Or at all. Hmm. Tastes pretty nice. And it smells nice. I can't really tell if the orangey tint is coming up on my lips at all. I hope not. But I'm 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 happier with this one. This one I'll give an eight because I like the fact that it's um got a nice secure container. Even though it doesn't have the key ring, but it's um this one's not coming apart. So yay. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this one an eight. I really am digging this one. And I mean, come on, it's num noms. They're so cute. All right, this is really fun. And I hope this is fun for you guys. This is brightening my day because my day was not going well at all. All right, this one we have, let's see, this one is a Rainbow Nerds, and this is in the cute um, candy box style packaging. So I am excited to try this one. Let's open it up. I love the packaging on these candy bar ones. In the past, I've not been so thrilled with them. Like I said, particularly chocolate ones, because they have that really just off-putting brownish purpley color that really is very pigmented and I don't care for. See, this one, let's see. Okay, the lid does come off. The sticker's a little bit crooked, so I was afraid I might have to tear into it, but I don't, so yay. This one is a pinky color, as you might expect, like the lid. And we will, let's say, we'll swatch that on this hand, because I'm running out of room. Okay, you get a little bit of the pink there. Hmm. Definitely does not smell like Rainbow Nerds to me. It smells... It smells sweet, but almost a little bit floral as well. So I'm a little, I don't know, I'm not overjoyed with the scent on that one. It's not unpleasant at all, but it's not true to, um, to Rainbow Nerds to me, or even to Nerds in general. But let me try it on, see what the color is like and the flavor. It is pigmented, but it's pretty, I think. Hmm. It does have some taste, but I'm not getting Rainbow Nerds. But it is it is a pleasant taste, though. It's not unpleasant, so that's good. So I'm going to say, because I really like the packaging on this, and the, um, the color is nice. They did go with a good color on this one, but it's not accurate to scent or flavor as far as to my eye. I mean, to my eye, to my nose and my mouth. So I'm going to give that one... I think a seven. I think, yeah, I think that one is a seven. Let me say, now, when I wipe this off, I should really be able to say, oh, you really can't see the color on there. Interesting. I thought it would be really pigmented when I wiped it off, but no, you really don't see anything. Interesting. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see what's next. Next up we have, oh, my God. Okay, this one is freaking adorbs. In the clouds, cotton candy, and it's sky blue. All right, right now, Taste Beauty, you have my heart because sky blue is everything. And this cotton candy is so adorable. Oh, my gosh. If it is an accurate cotton candy scent and flavor, I will be so happy. Because the last cotton candy thing I tried from Taste was their um, humongous lip balm in the um, fluffy stuff cotton candy. And it didn't taste or smell anything like cotton candy. So I'm really hoping that this one will. Again, this guy is nice and secure, so yay, I'm happy about that. No key ring, but that's okay. I love this packaging, like, more than life itself right now. Okay, let's see, and it is a gorgeous blue with the glitter, the same kind of translucent um, colors that the other glosses are. Let's try it out and see. Oh, of course, I put it on the wrong finger to swatch on my left hand, on my right hand, rather, so we'll just swatch it right here. It does have a little bit of a blue tinge to it. Can you kind of, maybe, sort of see? So that's kind of, uh, not thrilled about that. Again, you know, that's one of my issues with Taste Beauty is if you're going to put, um, you know, pigmentation in the lip balms, make them be colors that are wearable. That's just, you know, constructive criticism from little old me. What do I know? But 
It smells like cotton candy though, yay! I'm so happy about that. Okay, this definitely is a step up from the fluffy stuff. And it's weird because my friend Candace, Lip Balm Queen, has the small size fluffy stuff cotton candy one, not the humongous, and her, she said, smelled amazing. So I don't know why the humongous one didn't. It was very strange, but... Mmm, and it tastes like cotton candy too. Oh, I'm so excited, okay. This one is definitely a super solid eight. I love it. This one and this one are my faves so far out of the um, Sucker Sop imitations. And um, yeah, and I'm loving, loving the raspberry and peanut butter over here too, so, okay. Let's see what's next. Let's see, let's see. Okay, this one is a regular stick bomb and this one is in birthday cake. And again, I think I have this one that I got in a set. So if I do, I will double check. I'm gonna hold off on opening this because again, if I do have it already, it will go in my swap and or giveaway pile. So I'm gonna hold off on reviewing this one. But if um, if I do have it, obviously I'm, I'm happy to revisit reviewing it again or um, I can link in the Dropbox where I did originally review it. I'm almost certain I have that one in like a nine pack that I've reviewed before. Okay, and this one, same thing. This one I know I have reviewed before. So I'm gonna hold off on the Butterfinger for now. This will go in a possible swap, giveaway, whatever pile. I just don't see the point in opening anything that I've already opened and reviewed for you guys before. Okay, let's see, and there's one thing left. Ooh, what is this? This is adorbs. I have never, ever, ever seen these before. This one is called Lip Scoops Raspberry and Cream. I, you know, I'm lying. I think I have seen this, but not in person. I'm thinking a while back that people were maybe finding these at Kmart. If you've seen this anywhere, please do let me know where. This is just like going back in my memory bank a little bit because we don't have Kmart around here. The closest ones to me are quite a distance away. I haven't been to one in ages other than the one in New York City that I get to once in a blue moon when I take a trip to New York. I haven't been there in months and months, but, um, I've never seen these at Kmart or anywhere else in person. I think it was a couple months ago I was seeing these, though, on Instagram popping up a bit. So I'm really stoked to try this because I have never, obviously, had one like this before. The packaging is, like, ridiculously cute. And again, this is raspberry and cream. Okay, oh, if it holds true to what it's promising and it actually smells and tastes like raspberry and cream, I will be so stoked. Okay, let's see. And again, thank you so much to Taste Beauty for sending me these items to review for you guys. I'm really, really happy, and um, this is a lot of fun. Okay, let's see. Now, is this, this is the actual bomb, right? Whoa. I, th I honestly thought that this was decoration and that you were going to, like, lift the top and there'd be, like, gloss inside, but this is the actual bomb. That is freaking crazy. It is so stinking cute. Let me make sure I got everything else off of my lips here. I can't remember if I'm blotting in between or not. Okay, this one we will put on the right hand. I hate to mess up the pattern because it's so cute, but I'm going to have to to use it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> it smells okay. But again, it's generic sweet. Not really getting raspberries and cream. Just generic sweet. Not unpleasant, but not, if I was like, oh my God, you know, and it smelled this like with, you know, a blindfold on or my eyes closed, I'd go, oh my God, that's raspberries and cream. I wouldn't pick up raspberries or cream. I'd just go, it smells sweet. It smells pleasant enough. But, um, but how stinking adorable is it? Okay, let me try some on and see if it has any flavor to it. It does. Hmm. Gotta be honest, it's not an altogether pleasant flavor in this case. It's sweet, but it's a little, there's something a little off-putting about it to me. I don't know what it is. It's not bad enough that I won't use it. It's just not anything I'm particularly partial to. So overall on this one, packaging is fabulous. 
The concept is great. I love the shape that they actually managed to get the perfect ice cream, soft, so soft serve ice cream look to the bomb. Not the best flavor and scent, however. So I am going to give this one, because I really do love the packaging, I'm going to give this one a 7. I'm in between 6 and 7. I want it to be a 7 just because I love the packaging. But yeah, maybe like a 6.5 if I'm being completely honest, which as you know I am. So um, thank you again to Taste Beauty so, so, so much for giving me these to review for you guys. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to work with you. And um, um, as you know, I will always be unbiased again regardless of the way I in which I acquire any products whether they are given to me um, you know, complimentary for review purposes whether I buy them full price whether I buy them on sale whether they're gifts whether they're swaps whatever doesn't matter my opinion will always be the hundred percent truth with you guys so um yeah if I if I'm if I'm looking back at this pile here definitely the highest recommendations I think would go to these two little beauties. I am in love with these. I'm also really, really fond of this blue cotton candy. Ooh, okay. Cotton candy is spinning around, but that's okay. As long as it stays on, I'm good with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to loosen it. Um, and the um and the num noms uh mango. So those are my four picks out of everything that I've tried here. And again, I will review, I will go back and check on the three that I did not open, which are these three here, because I'm almost certain that I have reviewed these all in the past. I know for a fact I've reviewed this one. I'm 99% sure I reviewed this one, and I'm, I want to say 85% sure I've reviewed this one. But if it turns out that I did not, I will certainly open them up and review them for you. Or um, if I do have them in my collection already, you know, review the ones that I have. And then I can still save these for possible, uh, you know, swapping, giveaway, whatever in the future. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, once again, thank you to Taste. You guys are awesome to have done this. Um, I really respect that even though you know I have not been 100% in love with all of your products in the past, that you are willing to send out products for unbiased, honest review purposes. Not all companies will do that. I, I you know, I, I'm just, I, I call it like it is, and I know that there are certain companies out there, um, I'm not naming anyone in particular, I'm not even like, um, if I was on Twitter, we'd say subtweeting. I'm not even implying any companies in particular. I just strongly believe that there are certain companies out there that only send product to people who know who they know are going to love it. And um, Taste knows that I have not loved all of their products, and I'm not going to love all their products. They didn't love all these products. I didn't hate any of them, though, so yay. <laughs> but um, the fact that they have the, the moral fortitude to send stuff to someone that they know is going to tell the truth, whether it's good, bad, or in between, I really, truly, truly respect that a lot about Taste as a company. They've gone way up in my book. Um, with that regard so thank you very much to them for that thank you so much to you guys for watching um i hope you enjoyed this and i will be back soon with another train going by with more stuff bye guys